<laughs> Students, it's snowing in the south. <laughs> Makes me think about Peter the Great's Great Northern War for some reason, although it's kind of the opposite. It's not even really freezing here. I've got this glove on just for effect or maybe trying to look like O.J. Simpson or something. But anyway, Peter the Great was the Tsar of Russia, and he had two goals, okay? These goals being, first of all, to westernize Russia, and second of all, as a means to do this, to build a navy. And Peter, when he became Tsar, lacked warm water ports. All he had was a port at Archangel, which was frozen for half the year, unlike the weather here in the south. But he needed a warm water port, a port that could be used both as a naval base and for commerce, and that could be used year-round. So Peter the Great had to conquer territory that was held by Sweden, and Sweden was ruled by King Charles XII. And Charles XII was a great military leader. Sweden was one of the dominant powers at the time. So Peter really had a lot on his hands, and he decided to go to war. Of course, it was a lot colder than this, and he faced off against Charles XII at the Battle of Narva. And although Peter had outnumbered Charles, Four to one, lots more troops. Charles had the snow at his back and used deception to defeat Peter at the Battle of Narva. Of course, this didn't stop Peter. Peter was the type not to be discouraged. Peter was the type not to be held back. Kid, snowball, ow! <laughs> okay, that's my kid. Was that funny, Caroline? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Peter didn't think it was very funny when he lost the Battle of Narva, so he starts to ready himself again and brings a force out to the Baltic Sea and goes ahead and founds his city, St. Petersburg, named ostensibly after his patron saint, but really kind of more after himself. He's an egomaniac, like any of these absolutists are. He was awesome. So Peter starts building a city, he actually built himself a cabin so that he could participate personally and not only supervise the process, but also swing an axe, look at the plans, be directly involved. That's just the kind of czar he was. And Charles XII, of course, uh, didn't really like it, but thought, hey, let Peter piddle around and I will engage him. And he did. And Peter engaged just like I'm about to get another snowball thrown at me. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> well, Peter thought it was funny when Charles XII meets him at the Battle of Poltava and Peter destroys him. Okay, so Peter at the Battle of Poltava wins and gets his city, gets his ow, gets his warm water port. And this puts Russia on the road to having a modern country and a modern navy. Till next time. Can't really snap in these. Say bye-bye, Caroline. <laughs>